Behold, Lady Lab. Lady Lab is a website for designers to create animations online, and you can import your Figma file and export your animations in a JSON file. Amazing, because JSON file is most welcomed by developers. Uh, if we're talking about animations, and check it out, those animations they are amazing. And recently, Lady Lab published a new feature called Interactivity, which is a uh, really game changer because now you can create uh, not only animations but interactions. See, when we move our cursor on the components, then it will trigger an animations. Wow, this is crazy! So let's try it out first. So you can import your designs from Figma, but today we are going to show you how to design a component inside of the Lati Lab. Okay, so we are going to create a Tango button and uh, basically just a triangle and uh, let's uh, resize the uh, the canvas. We have a button, a, a Tango button called uh, animation. So when we click, when we if, when it's triggered. So we can edit the timeline by place anywhere, uh, our cursor anywhere and change the value of the, like the transparency, like the uh, position, then the animation is created automatically. That is really convenient, right? So compared to After Effects or any stuff on the market this is the easiest one and uh, let's change the duration for each side so now the tango buttons are changing from the left to the right and uh, when we're hovering the duration we can change the different type of the east animation like is out is in so make it more uh, more belief so now this is a uh, better so when we play see they have a uh, ease out animations now and uh, I, I think we need to change the background color right it cannot be both yellow so later we will change the background color and um, then we have the tango button all right so here um, let me change the background to gray and the copy and paste copy and paste Okay, wow, we just done it in seconds. Now we have a beautiful animations of the Tango button. So if you want to stop here, you can export the JSON file or the MP4 file if you want to preview or the uh, GIF, even Telegram uh, stickers. So now let's click the interactivity. Then we have this uh, blue lines. So when we add this, we have a two different states. So this is a meaning the blue lines is marked the different, how to say, states. So we have a first off, second on, two different states. So in the preview set, so when we click the button, we can find the triggered different animations, right? And uh, let's change it by click here. This is how you trick your animations, like the hovering or like when the cursor clicked. So let's uh, try click first and we have other one settings. You can try it. So let's preview. Nice, nice. So this is clickable buttons and clickable animations. So if we uh, pass this to the developers, they don't need to um, create different Duration of the animation maybe need two before, but now they only need one. And uh, we have online URL, so if you want to copy this URL, this is even more convenient. And you can export by MP4 format or GIF format or even Telegram stickers. Okay, I don't need that right now. Let's try to paste animation inside of a framer. So I open a framer file and um, add the Lati uh, player and then copy the link and type the link here or upload the local file. See, 
This is a traditional way to insert a LT animation inside of a framework or a different uh, platform, like the Webflow or something else. So now, in the framer, let's change the size and keep the ratio. So when we um, resize it, it can be same ratio. Okay, nice. So this is a traditional way to uh, deploy uh, animation of the JSON format. Now, let's see how we play around with the interactivity. So open this example, we have this button called the uh, copy to framer. The new interactivity file needs a new environment. We need to deploy the new environment. I think this is pretty um, same for the developers on their end. And let's type the URL or upload the local file. So this is a different between two um, environments, right? Sure. Okay, now we have a two tangle button, but the second one, which can be interacted with. Now let's back to the Ladi Lab uh, examples page. Now let's click uh, remix button, and now we can remix this animations. Okay, now let's copy the URL of this uh, Lati file back here and copy one. Yeah, now change the URL. Okay, changing the sizes of this animation. This is an um, example animation that is created by Lati Lab. So if we click this one, this little uh, airplane will change accordingly. I think it's pretty fun. This is how you use the Lati Lab to create animations and insert or deploy the environment in different platforms. I hope you like it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Congratulations, you finished this episode. And don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button. Also, leave all your questions inside of our comment zone. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.